all decisions on COVID at the end of the day have to be political. Of course they, they, they are. They're, of course they should be. Um, yeah, it's inherently a political decision. Even Sage would, would say that the government needs to make political decisions based on weighing up various different factors, including um, you know, social factors, people's well-being, the economy, of course, as well as what they would consider the science. And Sage are only there to advise on the science. They haven't always done a particularly great job of it. But I don't think there is a scientific um, answer to the question of when the self-isolation laws should end. They were meant to end next month. That was pretty much arbitrary. They're going to end a month earlier um, instead. People could have their views about whether that's too, too soon or not. But I don't think science necessarily can give you the answer to it. And looking at the data, which the Prime Minister referenced yesterday, he said that the data was looking very positive. Now, we've been scouring the uh, COVID dashboard, which I know you do as well. And we can uh, have a look at some of, uh, some of that data now, because cases, the number of uh, people testing positive has been falling. There we can see it collapsed um, uh, 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 at the turn of the new year and has been trickling down ever since. In terms of hospitalizations, well, they have followed cases and have been falling as well. Patients admitted to hospital falling away there. Interestingly, ventilation beds, those patients that need mechanical ventilation, much, much lower as well when it comes to Omicron specifically. This is all good news. Um, is there, is there any reason to oppose? Is there any reason to oppose relaxing these restrictions now, then? I suppose some people would say that you should err on the side of caution, um, that rates are still relatively high, um, and that other countries have seen much higher rates. And it's, it's not inconceivable that we could suddenly see some kind of surge, as they've seen in France or Denmark. But it's important to remember, even in France and Denmark, who's, who's had surges that make hours as big as it was over Christmas makes ours look really very small. They've still coped. All right, they haven't got the NHS to deal with, but they've still coped um, as far as we can see because Omicron is so much milder. And as you say, the intensive care wards now have fewer COVID patients in them than they did in early July. Um, so I think the world in general is coming to terms with the idea that this is a much milder variant. And if you've got a large number of people particularly um, boosted, then there isn't a great deal to worry about. So really, whether it's in a couple of weeks' time or in six weeks' time, I don't think really makes a lot of difference.